Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Indricotherium The Indricotherium was the biggest creature you've never heard of. The remains of this enormous creature were found early in the 20th century, and it's been a controversial topic among paleontologists ever since. No one has even agreed on what to call it, with some still referring to it as the Paraceratherium. Whatever you choose to call it, this creature was a giant mammal, the largest terrestrial mammal that ever walked the face of the Earth. It was so big that its bones could have easily been mistaken for some of the biggest dinosaur bones in the world. Even though the Indricotherium was a mammal with no relation to dinosaurs, it was almost the same size as some of the biggest sauropod dinosaurs, which were the biggest dinos that ever existed. The Indricotherium was an ancestor of the modern rhinoceros. It looked like a mix between a rhino, an elephant, and a brontosaurus. It had a very long neck, just like you'd expect with a diplodocus or a brachiosaurus. But then its legs were thin, and it only had three toes on its feet. These stumps were like the feet of elephants, only way bigger. It's believed it was an herbivore, though it didn't have a trunk. Instead, it had a prehensile upper lip that allowed it to grab leaves from trees. The size of this monster is hard to imagine. It was 40 feet long and 20 tons, and yet that's only a guess. Because of the scant fossil record, archaeologists can't be sure of their size. Some of these beasts may have been larger, others may have been a bit smaller. They only lived for a brief time during the Oligocene period, between 33 and 23 million years ago. They also only lived in Asia, roaming the plains on their massive legs and munching on plants. Number 9. The Spinosaurus The Spinosaurus was the biggest carnivorous dinosaur. End of discussion! It was positively massive, measuring 50 feet long and weighing roughly 7.5 tons. It didn't weigh as much as some others, but its length and its weight together make it the largest that paleontologists know about. The first specimens of this prehistoric demon were found in Western Egypt in 1910. Over a century later, researchers still can't agree on the specifics of the Spinosaurus. Nobody is sure if it was semi-aquatic or fully terrestrial. Because we know the Spinosaurus lived in coastal areas, and because of its long snout, we know its diet consisted mostly of seafood. But scientists don't know if it waded into the water and hunted prehistoric crocodiles in the shallows, or if it was able to submerge its entire body and swim like a reptile. The Spinosaurus lived 99 million years ago in North Africa. It was almost like a hybrid between the Tyrannosaurus rex and a real-life dragon. It was a mammoth dinosaur, even larger than the legendary Giganotosaurus, with its narrow skull measuring 6 feet in length. Its skull happened to be shaped similar to the skull of a giant crocodile. The Spinosaurus is the only dinosaur we know about that lived on land but primarily feasted on seafood. It's impossible to say who would have won in a battle, the Spinosaurus or the T-Rex. However, chances are it would have been the Spino. The Spinosaurus had one major advantage. It had fully functioning arms, unlike the T-Rex's tiny stubs. It was also bigger and meaner, which in the animal kingdom means a lot. Who do you think would win in a fight, the Spinosaurus or the T-Rex? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. Patago Titan Mayorum The biggest dinosaurs in the world are all different species of titanosaur. The titanosaur is a family of armored sauropods that spread to every single continent on the planet during the Cretaceous period. Some titanosaurs were measly pipsqueaks like the Saltasaurus, who only weighed 10 tons. But by the time they reached their evolutionary peak 100 million years ago, these things were the closest thing to real giants. Scientists can't agree on which titanosaur was the biggest, since fossil evidence is rare, but there are some major contenders. The first is Maximo. Patago Titan Mayorum could be the largest dinosaur that scientists have ever found. It was a long-necked plant eater that dominated the landscape of Patagonia in Argentina. Its nickname in Spanish, Maximo, translates to maximum. In other words, it's the maximum dinosaur. Its long neck and massive tail give it a full length of 122 feet, 
That makes it the biggest animal that ever lived, even bigger than the blue whale. It weighed 70 tons, which is roughly the same weight as 10 African elephants. The fossils of this titan were officially described in 2017 by scientists who named the animal. The bones were uncovered in the Patagonian desert region in Argentina when a rancher just stumbled over it. The bone was just sticking out from the ground and the rancher tripped over it. Imagine going for a walk in your backyard and tripping over the femur of the largest thing that ever existed. What would you do? Let me know in the comments. And now for number 7. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Alvaro Damien Carrasco Mesa and Mike Stevenson. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We've got lots more videos coming up. Number 7. The Blue Whale The biggest animal alive on our planet right now is the blue whale. It's also the biggest animal that ever lived. The blue whale, even though it averages about 90 feet, has been estimated to reach lengths between 120 and 140 feet. That's longer than any titanosaur of the dinosaur age. The biggest titanosaur may have reached 100 tons, and even that's a stretch. The blue whale can weigh up to 155 tons. There is absolutely nothing that has ever evolved on our planet that can compare to the size of the blue whale. The blue whale is big enough to fit 40 elephants, 30 T-Rexes, or 2,670 average humans. What a lot of people don't realize is that the blue whale wasn't always so large. 48 million years ago, it evolved from a four-legged mammal that slipped into the ocean and started swimming. Its ancestor was the Pachycetus, a small mammal only about four or five feet long. It foraged in streams as it became adapted to life in the water. About 10 million years later, the Pachycetus had evolved into the fully aquatic Dorodon, which was about 12 feet long. This evolution continued until today, with the blue whale now the biggest living creature in existence. Number 6. The African Bush Elephant The blue whale is the biggest thing in the ocean, and the African bush elephant is the biggest animal on land. It isn't nearly as impressive as some of the wacky creatures that came before it millions of years ago, but it is the last of the giants still living, with adult bush elephants reaching 24 feet in length and standing 13 feet tall. Each one weighs roughly 11 tons, and they spend the majority of their time foraging. Just like so many giants of the past, elephants are herbivores. They eat grass, leaves, fruit, and whatever foliage they can find. They consume about 350 pounds of plant matter every day. The African bush elephant is special for a lot more reasons than just its intense size. Other than human beings, African elephants live longer than any other mammal. They have a lifespan in the wild of 70 years. Elephant herds are also led by the matriarch, the eldest female. These wise animals form close-knit communities ruled by elephant queens. Adult males almost never join herds and spend their lives roaming around in the wild. Fairly cranky, since nobody wants to hang out with them. Have you ever seen an African bush elephant in person? Let me know in the comments! Number 5. Hatsigopteryx Millions of years before Transylvania was home to Count Dracula, it was home to what may have been the biggest flying reptile that ever existed. It was a giant pterosaur called Hatsigopteryx, and it had a taste for dinosaur meat. When this thing was still alive during the Cretaceous, right before the extinction of the dinosaurs, it was like a giraffe with wings. The flying death machine was so big that when paleontologists found its remains in the early 1990s, they thought it was some kind of weird-looking tyrannosaur. But no, it was a real aerial wonder with a wingspan of 40 feet across. That is truly incredible and kind of hard to believe. The Hatsigopteryx's wings were so big, you could have built a small cabin on its back. Its skull alone was 10 feet long. And although scientists have yet to find an example of its jaw, they think it may have had the longest jaw of any terrestrial tetrapod. There is still a lot of debate over how the dragon of Transylvania kept itself fed, because it really was a dragon in terms of size, just without the fire breathing. 
Scientists think it may have been a scavenger, although that might not be the case. It may have fed kind of like a pelican by scooping food into its mouth. But the most popular theory is that it was a terrestrial stalker, meaning it hunted on land instead of in the sky. It likely ran around pecking things to death and chomping their bones, then flying up to its nest high in the mountains. Number 4. Megalodon vs. Mosasaurus The Mosasaurus was one of the biggest predators the ocean has ever seen. It grew to a shocking length of 59 feet, making it fairly comparable to the average Megalodon. The Megalodon was another fierce aquatic predator that ruled the oceans until fairly recently. The Megalodon only went extinct about 3 million years ago, the Mosasaurus 50 million years before that. But which one of these prehistoric monstrosities was the most terrifying? Or maybe an even more exciting question, which one would win in a fight? The Mosasaurus had 50 conical teeth that were long and tapered, designed to go through flesh like a bullet. Their jaws were also double-hinged, allowing them to swallow their prey whole, just like snakes. The Mosasaurus didn't take bites out of its meals, it gobbled them whole. It mainly ate things like fish, turtles, smaller versions of itself, and large ammonites. It also had a taste for squid. At the end of the day, the Mosasaurus was a nearly 60-foot-long reptile with paddle-shaped limbs similar to the Loch Ness Monster. The Megalodon was a different beast altogether. It was like a great white shark injected full of radioactive waste and turned into a monster. The Megalodon had five rows of 276 teeth like razors. Rather than swallowing its prey, the Megalodon chewed its victims and shook them like ragdolls. It was an ambush hunter and would have grabbed its prey inside its massive jaws, broken bones and torn skin and shook them to death. The maximum length of the Megalodon was about 65 feet. It was the biggest shark that ever lived. Although the Megalodon and the Mosasaurus were close in size, both apex predators and both seriously mean, there could only be one winner. In a hypothetical fight, the sheer bulk of the Megalodon and its powerful jaws would make quick work of the giant reptile. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments! Number 3. Sarcosuchus Imperator Speaking of giant reptiles, let's take a look at what was likely the biggest crocodile that ever existed. It's the Super Croc, scientifically known as the Sarcosuchus Imperator. It was significantly larger than any modern crocodile in existence. For a quick size comparison, Modern saltwater crocodiles grow to be somewhere around 18 feet. They would have looked like toddlers next to the monumental super croc, which could reach lengths of over 36 feet. It wasn't the only giant crocodile either. Dr. Mark Young, a paleontologist at the University of Edinburgh, says there were lots of big crocodilians. The Danosuchus from the late Cretaceous was close in size to the Sarcosuchus. There were also giant caimans living in the Amazon that were behemoths compared to the caimans there now. However, these all went extinct about 5 million years ago. Mark also says that during the time of the Sarcosuchus, about 113 million years ago, there were marine crocodiles. These were crocodiles who didn't hang out in rivers and on swampy coastlines, but dwelled deep in the ocean. Mark says these ocean crocodiles were at least the same size as the super croc, maybe even bigger. We just don't have enough evidence to say for certain. Number 2. Argentinosaurus Before the discovery of Maximo, Argentina was home to another monumental beast dubbed the biggest dinosaur ever. In 1987, paleontologists uncovered the buried remains of the Argentinosaurus. It was a member of the Titanosaur family and shocked scientists around the world with its incredible size. Although estimates do vary, most reconstructions place the dinosaur at 85 feet long and 75 tons. That maximum guess is a total length of 100 feet and 100 tons. At the time, it was the biggest dinosaur ever discovered. The newly found Maximal beats the Argentinosaurus by at least 22 feet, maybe more. Still, the Argentinosaurus deserves a spot on the list simply for being the biggest for so long. This gigantic dinosaur had a top speed of 5 miles an hour, 
which is uh, pretty incredible. That's faster than a 747 jet plane while taxiing. Just try to imagine the collateral damage inflicted by a beast with these proportions steamrolling through the forest. A sudden stampede could have easily caused a small extinction event. But did the Argentinosaurus have any predators? Oddly enough, yes. Scientists have found the bones of the Giganotosaurus near scattered remains of the Argentinosaurus. It could just be that one of the biggest predators of all time hunted one of the biggest plant eaters of all time. Maybe even in packs like huge reptilian wolves. Number 1. Giganotosaurus The Giganotosaurus was at least 45 feet long from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail. In terms of height, it was almost 20 feet tall. These are all rough guesses put forth by scientists, but the important thing to know is that the Giganotosaurus was huge. It weighed anywhere between 5 and 10 tons and was so big it was the only thing capable of bullying the biggest sauropods of the Cretaceous. From 93 to 89 million years ago, the Giganotosaurus rampaged across South America. It was in the top three of the biggest known terrestrial carnivores. It was about 6 feet longer than the T-Rex, and most likely heavier too, but it was smaller than the mighty Spinosaurus. Between these three creatures, the Cretaceous would have been a terrifying time to be alive, at least as a human. If you were a Giganotosaurus, life probably wasn't that bad. Nobody tried to eat you, and you were big enough to eat anyone who tried. But there was a downside to being a giant reptile with teeth like oversized ice picks. Scientists have found the Giganotosaurus had a brain even smaller than the T-Rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex is famous for having a brain the size of a walnut, despite its immense size. But the Giganotosaurus's brain was even smaller, and for some reason, shaped like a banana. Thanks for watching! Which giant creature is your all-time favorite? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time! Bye!